This tutorial is going to be very quick, it's just hello world. We already set everything up in the last video. So what we want to do is go to section.data and we're going to define message and we're going to write define bytes. Um, like I said, there's not just define bytes, there's define word, define double, define quadruple and stuff like that. Um, but we're going to use define bytes and we're going to use hello world and then we're going to use underscore o or I mean comma o remember comma puts things together we want to put a zero at the end zero is kind of like the string terminator for printf printf is something built in to use printf um, if you're a person who uses C a lot you may know of these um, functions that are kind of like built in like printf um, scanf um, fgets and stuff like that we can use those in 32-bit assembly. What we're going to do is write extern. We're going to include something that's external, and we're going to write extern underscore printf. Like I said, if it gives you an error, if you um, try removing the underscore, because some people don't, uh, um, some people the underscore gives them errors. Some people it doesn't. It might. I think on Linux there's no underscore required, but on Windows there is but I'm not 100% sure. So we use underscore printf. Um, and then what we want to do is we want to go into our little main function here and we're going to, what printf does, it will display something onto this, it will basically display the string on, um, on the stack right um, right before you use printf so what we basically got to do we got to push message onto the stack and then call printf and that will that's really all we need to do but we also want to um, add to ESP4 that will clear the parameters I've just found that using like um, inline assemblers and stuff if you don't clear this you use to clear the parameters. It just seems if you don't clear the parameters after you call it, it sometimes it can crash. So after so after we add ESP4 to go ahead and clear the parameters, we're going to um, that's really all we need to do. Now let's go ahead and let's go to run the command nasm -f elf and then our assembly file. Let's so now let's run the command hello world dot o dash o then there and now we'll get this exe and as you can see it says hello world just fine and if you watched um, the 16-bit assembly tutorials you know you can use 0dh and 0ah for a new line. And as you can see it says hello world and skips a line. Um, that's it for this tutorial. Um.